with powerful leg and arm strikes. Okay, welcome back to the Cold 45 and URCC in Indestructible. We have Ramonito Pabroa versus Lando Espinosa. Actually, Lando the Assassin, Espinosa. The Assassin, huh? The Assassin. Uh. Okay, we all know Lando Espinosa is a very exciting fighter. He's from the Lord MMA, one of the products again of the Lord MMA. Exactly. Lando is, uh, before he asked me, sir, what up about home alias? Actually, he came up with his own alias. Now the he calls assassin. him the Assassin. He's actually, he actually <laughs> has the, um, has the reputation of, you know, being the hardest worker. Of course, we had the entry of Ramonito Pabroa. He's the coach of the Elements Gym. Okay, I saw this guy actually knock out somebody, so, um, in, uh, one of the, uh, qualifiers. one of the qualifiers, and the guy was out on his feet. Tulog siya, pero nakatayo pa rin. I mean, this guy, you know, he's his URCC debut, powerful leg and hand strikes, he has ground and pound abilities. He has good ground and submission defense. Now, Ramonito Fabroa, again, may look like he has a belly, but this guy kicks fast Actually, and he can punch fast too. And he's a Muay Thai veteran. Exactly. One of his sparring partners is, of course, the URCC veteran and first runner up of the Strikes Only tournament, Arnel Arancina. Exactly. This is the assassin. With a one win, one loss, this guy, in my opinion, well, in, in everyone's opinion, actually, is the hardest worker in the Lord MMA. Exactly. This guy trains way harder than Kaloy, Bimbi, anybody else. And good old work ethic. Yes. Very disciplined fighter. Espinosa! Once a fast learner. He's, he's coming off of. Uh, well, he's coming off a loss. But then, uh, you know, there's a con there's a lot of controversies in that match when he fought uh, Takuro, Nishimura. Takuro Nishimura. Yeah, but uh, of course, they will have a rematch pretty soon. Oh, definitely. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, here we have the assassin. Lando the assassin is Pinoza. Okay, like yeah. we were saying, he has excellent conditioning and endurance. Quick hand strikes, gaming from the Elorde. And takedowns, he's well versed in submissions. And of course, his knockout abilities. His last fight, even though he's a boxer, was won by armbar, remember? <laughs> exactly, I remember. It was really fast <laughs> when he got that armbar. I mean, we thought he was going to punch, then all of a sudden he just landed that armbar from there. Yeah, from nowhere, an armbar from nowhere. Okay. That's going to be an exciting striking Get match, though, with these two. Here, uh, we can see Coach Pabro is a 31-year-old and uh, Lando Espinosa is 26. Uh, height, both the same. Uh, slight, uh, that's a big weight advantage actually on Pabroa, which is 138 over uh, eight pounds. Lando. Yeah, over Lando is 130. Well, they're both within the bracket anyway. Exactly. The bracket for this uh, division is 130 to 139. The bantam weight. Actually, it's the competitive na bracket sa URCC, the bantam weight division. Okay, here we go. See, uh, these are actually both uh, both uh, strikers. Yeah, veteran strikers actually. Okay, Ramonita landing with a good leg kick. Yeah, you see, Coach Pablo okay. actually is very quick also. Okay, just shrugs off the, the punch of Lando. Oh, exactly. Whoa! Oh, he got okay. he got Lando right there. Yeah, rocks the Lando. Rock Lando there. Oh, got Lando again. Lando has to watch out for the strikes. Oh, He's yeah. just going in the kicks. You see, he has promised a good uh, two good strikers actually. Oh, you see the fake. <laughs> exactly. Oh, knocked him down for a while. Again. Made him lose balance for a while. Look at that. Look at this. Looks like Lando doesn't want to have anything to do with yeah, that. Oh, and he down. takes him down. Because I think he knew that he was getting hurt. Exactly. The, the problem with Lando was he kept charging in the kicks. But then look, the boxer actually takes down yeah. <laughs> another striker. Now he has the mount position. Let's see what he does from here. Okay. Uh, Ramonito covering up. You see okay. Here in trouble, if, he's, if he's not... Defending himself properly, referee Joey De Leon uh, might stop the. Uh, Joey, Le Joey Lepita might. Uh, oh, it goes for an armbar arm again! <laughs> and he has it! Wow! Oh, Another armbar victory! Yeah, the assassin. For Lando Espinosa. <laughs> the assassin. His corner, yes, William <laughs> Develos, the former OBBF champion, one of the best boxers to come uh, out of the You see the crowd, though, very happy with that match, actually. That was an excellent match. Wow! As promised, two strikers going at it. But, but you know. Our props to Ramonito. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he was actually doing well with the kicks, keeping him at bay. Exactly. He just never thought that uh, Lando would actually try to take him down. He thought he was going to strike with him. Lando kept 
rushing and bum rushing all the kicks. I mean, exactly. that's just how tough this guy is. But then he said, you know, enough is enough. I got to take this guy down. And of course, another win by an armbar. <laughs> another armbar win for the for, for the former professional boxer now turned MMA, MMA fighter, Lando Espinosa. As promised, of course, two strikers again going at it. Okay, let's watch it again. Yeah, this is the mount position, actually. Yeah, uh, Bonita covering up well. He's, he's hitting the arms. Oh, that one got in. But here he was really in trouble already at this point. Okay, because you can see the legs of Romonito going up actually parang di niya alam niya from there. Okay, but the problem was he extended his arms. arms exactly. You never extend your arms in yeah. exactly what he was waiting for. Very he goes open for the, the arm bar. bar. Exactly. He taps out right away. Good job on Lando Espinosa at uh, a minute and ten seconds in the first round Ladies by an arm bar. Gentlemen. Excellent win. With the that was a good fight. Yeah. A <laughs> Pretty exciting. Ten seconds of the first round. A winner by <laughs> submission in the red corner, Lando yes. Espinosa. Lando, the assassin Espinosa, <laughs> wins by armbar at one minute and ten okay, seconds in the first round. Good science sportsmanship again. As you notice, a lot of these fighters are actually friends outside exactly. of the like I was saying, I, I like to emphasize that because a lot of people think that these are street fighters, whatever, no. They are trained fighters. They're they're educated are, fighters, actually. They're all licensed under the Game and Amusement Board. Opponents inside the ring, brothers outside. Exactly. There's the assassin, Lando Espinosa. <laughs> <laughs> all your hard work paid off, Lando Espinosa. Exactly.